It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be showing you just a little studio update. Um, I've made some progress adding a standing desk, uh, getting some lights, and I actually printed some um, artwork for the studio. You're a beautiful person and a good person, and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. Thanks for joining me. So as you come in the door, I have a gas tank type of furniture thing, and it actually has a cabinet inside, but there's a cool light on the top. It looks like a little uh, vintage gas pump. And as you come around the corner, you can see I have two very poles set up. Um, and so on the left, I'm gonna put my Fuji for tutorial videos, kind of off axis from the light, which is on the right very pole. And uh, I'm gonna have those uh, so I don't have tripods or light stands set up. And so it's a kind of a slim setup. Now the standing desk, I have kind of a little raised shelf for the monitor, so it's more eye level. When I'm working, I have the Samsung Galaxy Book 360 Pro that I'm using right now. So it's Windows, I'm learning DaVinci Resolve. I have a Samsung 27 inch monitor. And uh, so I try to keep the desk pretty clean, which is honestly a struggle for me. So getting organization as part of the studio has been a big, big goal for me. Um, off to the right here, I have a little organizer shelf with things like SD cards, uh, little mini tripods, light modifiers, things that I might need in a pinch quickly. Uh, then I have some succulents and some uh, pots that we picked up this past weekend. Uh, then I have a little uh, kind of porch area for the, a chair and a table, some reading material. And the back, kind of the background, um, I have a cabinet that has some lenses in it and I have uh, a picture that I framed and I have my own little personal fireplace. For alcohol, just put a little of that. Yeah, so um, that's about it. Off to the side, I have a green screen. Um, so I bought these mounts that you, you mount on the wall and you can hang seamless paper from it. So right now I have green paper. Um, I don't have specific green screen plans, but I kind of thought it'd be cool, might be flexible, but I could have black, white, whatever for uh, any portrait work or product photography. That's it, guitar down there. Um, actually these things, our cool little light sources, Soonfo, Soonfo. So I ordered two more. So I have one back there behind the, the frame and then one down by the guitar just to give it a little pop of color. And that's, that's really it. It's a really simple setup. Um, I try to keep it uh, clean and organized. The benefit so far has been having this light up off the ground and uh, it's a, it's a cool, it's a NAN light. I'll, I'll link the, uh, the item below, but the modifiers have been great. There's a grid on it and another uh, diffuser. And uh, it's been a nice soft light. Uh, I'm just getting used to it. So, um, so far, so good. Thanks for joining me on this brief studio update. I'm gonna keep you posted. Of course, there is one issue that I have to solve, and that is... That's it.